Good afternoon. At this time, I would like to invite Pastor Steve Gill to the stage to open our graduation ceremony with a prayer. Would you bow your head with me in prayer? Holy Father, today we come before you on this day of celebration as we have gathered here to honor the accomplishments of these young people. Father God, you know the challenges that we all face in life, and I thank you that these graduates have stayed the course and finished their secondary education. I ask you, Lord, that you smooth the road before them as they now enter a realm of opportunities and a world of new freedoms. May they resist the ways of the world and walk in your footsteps. May they choose a life that would bring you honor, glory, and praise. May their successes and accomplishments be great, Father God. May they set the example for the generations that are to follow them. I ask that you'd bless them today and bless their families, for this is a hard time and a time for change in them as well. Most of all, I thank you for your son, Jesus, for without him the world would be lost. Again, Father God, bless these graduates and their families as only you can. And I ask these names and name your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon. I'm Jessica Mathis, principal of Fairfield High School. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and Board of Education, I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the Fairfield High School Class of 2021. This has been a year like none other, but you have made it. I would like to take a moment to thank our graduating seniors for all of their hard work and dedication, not only this year, but over the last four years. This past year has been difficult with COVID and all the guidelines that we've had to follow in order to keep everybody healthy. This group of students persevered and have come out stronger and wiser, I hope. They have new experiences that will benefit them as they move into the next steps in their lives. These students have learned valuable skills such as grit, perseverance, flexibility, and hard work. They experienced learning like no other group before them, and I want to thank them for being flexible and making all of the changes that were asked of them, even when it seemed overwhelming at times. At this time, I would also like to take a few moments to recognize members of the class of 2021 who are CTE completers. CTE, or Career and Technical Education Completers, are those students who have completed a CTE pathway during their four years here at FHS. So kid, when I call your name, you guys want to come up and just line up in front of the stage, okay? Kaylee Combs, Garrett Haskins, Hunter McMillan, Bradley Pugh, Luis Sanchez, Faith Strasberg, and Jose Zapian. Those are our 2021 CTE Pathway Completers. This group of seniors has done amazing things during their four short years here at Fairfield High School. 16 members have earned at least one industry certification. Seven are CTE completers. Five have earned HCTEA certificates. Two are Kansas State Scholars. And one has earned the FFA State Degree. And we have one who has earned an Associate's Degree. This class will always have a special place in my heart. I have had the honor of watching them grow since their elementary days. They have accomplished so much since they were students in my third grade classroom. I am so proud of what they have accomplished and cannot wait to see what, where their futures take them. At this time, I would like to invite Julie and Kylie Combs to the stage to present the Ernie Combs Scholarship.
All right, we'll keep this short and sweet. So we decided to do the scholarship after our dad passed away from cancer last year. Dad was always willing to help others, and I don't know how many times he literally gave his last dollar to someone he thought needed it more. So we wanted to continue that tradition, and this year we'd like to honor the scholarship to Brooke Reniker. And we'd also like to give one out to Kaylee Combs. At this time, Mrs. Brenda Unruh and Mrs. Brandy Service, our beloved Falcon educators, will give the graduation speech. Good afternoon, and again, welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. Wow, what a year it has been. There were times where we wondered whether we would even get to be able to get together and celebrate the wonderful accomplishments of this fine class. But thankfully, here we are. As a class, you had to utilize many skills that most high school students don't. This class had to show perseverance, we've already heard about that, flexibility, already heard about that, and focus. These traits you are required to demonstrate this year will also make you better individuals and will prepare you for your futures. Let's talk a little bit more about each of these. Perseverance, defined as the persistent determination to adhere to a plan of direction. Insistence, maybe it was that difficult math problem or a long essay you had to write, or maybe for some of you, when you had to stand up in front of the class and present, you all have done those things at some point in high school. Flexibility, defined as having the ability to adapt. There isn't one person in this gym today that hasn't had to be flexible in the past year. Between remote learning and cohorts, you have had to be flexible with your vision of your senior year. You attended classes in whatever fashion they were presented and were flexible in trying to make the most of your last, to last year of high school, even if it was not ideal. And then focus. Paying attention to the task at hand. You've made the adjustments necessary to see clearly. Through all the abrupt changes this year, you all remain focused on the ultimate goal, earning your high school diploma. While many of you spent the majority of your days in front of a computer screen for school, you also participated in sports, FFA, forensics, church, community groups, and maintained steady jobs. You remain focused on your personal goals, and here you are today, graduating high school. These are all skills that you will need as you move forward into the next chapter of your life. So what is that next chapter in your life? So let's find out. So we need a little participation from you. So underneath your chairs, you'll find a sack. And if you'll get those and get out what's inside. <laughs> OK, so you're going to have either some kind of candy or candy bar. So we're going to see how that candy or candy bar can help describe you and or your career. So first up, if you have a crunch bar, please raise your hand. <laughs> That'd be Kaylee Combs. She's going into athletic training. When the going gets tough for your athletes, you will come through in crunch time. Athletes will look to you for help and confidence they need to get back on the court and or the field. Who has a Milky Way bar? Okay, Harris Siller. He's going into computer engineering. In your career of computer engineering, you will create things that are out of this world. Your programming skills may help you create the newest smartphone app that we all might use someday. 
And then who has the three musketeers? Haley Richardson. She's going into criminal justice. In your field, you will work with others to fight for justice. Your attention to detail will help you fit the pieces together. Your organizational and time management skills will assist you in solving any case or issue that you're faced with. And who has a 100 grand bar? Okay, Katriana Davis and Hunter McMillan. They're both going into education. No, you're not going to make 100 grand per year, <laughs> but you're going to be worth 100 grand to your students. Your passion to teach and work with young people will be your top priority, and the hours that you put in will make you feel like the richest person in the world. And then who has lifesavers? We have several ladies here. Kaylee Brown, Daisy Rayburn, Brooke Reniker, Dusty Ryan, Eva Schwartfeger, and Faith Strasberg. They are all pursuing nursing or entering the medical field. You will be the lifesavers in this world. Your care and concern for others will be your passion. People will trust you with their health and look to you for comfort. Okay, who has Jolly Ranchers? Okay, so that's Gary Haskins, Brad Pugh, and Jose Zapian. They are all going to be mechanics or welders. Working with your hands to fabricate or fix something will be your trade. By using your excellent mechanical and welding skills, you will help fix a piece of equipment that will have a Jolly Rancher when you leave their farm. Well, at least until they get the bill. <laughs> and then who has the payday? It's Blake Roberts. You've already entered the work field. You've had a taste of the payday already, so maintain that good work ethic. Stay committed to the goals that you have set for yourself. And who has animal crackers? Okay, Caroline Algram and Alex Meese. They both love working with animals and possibly veterinary nursing. You have a great love for animals and you might care for many of our four-legged friends someday. Stay committed to your goals, no matter how long-term they may be. Your nurturing heart and work ethic will take you far. And then we have the Reese's Pieces. It's Clayton Fleming. Right now, he currently has an undecided major, and that's okay to be undecided about your career right now. Know that someday you're gonna be an important piece to a team. You've been a great team member around here, and you will use those skills to be a part of a new team. And who has Laffy Taffy? Okay, Patrick Bankston. He's also going into the work field. You have a wonderful sense of humor. Your smile communicates kindness to everyone that you're around. People that work with you will enjoy your positive attitude on a daily basis. And then we have the Mr. Good Bar. Luis Sanchez. He is also entering the work field. Your teachers and the staff here at Fairfield would give you the Mr. Good Bar Award for your politeness. You have great respect for everyone. Many people will want to hire you because of your awesome work ethic and character. And who has an almond joy? Okay, Kaylee Thiessen, she's also going into the work field. Bring joy to everyone you meet. Be friendly and helpful to those you're around. These traits will be important no matter what career you go into. So we want to wish you all great success in whatever career or work field you choose. You've got this. In closing, we would like to summarize our thoughts about this class, and let's just say our own languages. So, let's get a little technical with our English here. Some adjectives I use to describe this class. Feisty, intelligent, ornery, capable, strong, and successful. Don't worry, Brad, Patrick, Luis, and Harris, you don't have a word study over those. <laughs> or maybe you're thinking of some interjections right now. Yay, finally, we did it. In the next few years, I hope you find the Horatio to your Hamlet, or even the Daisy Buchanan to your Jay Gatsby, or the Romeo to your Juliet. Just remember, you are the writer of your own story, so try to differ from Shakespeare and make it a happy ending. That was good, Mrs. Service. Now I'll add a little bit more in my language. <laughs> this class is such a great functioning unit. What you do cannot be paralleled. You have derived many positive opportunities for your future. It would be irrational to try to explain all the good you do. You are a good reflection to our school. You each have great focus and range of knowledge. What you have accomplished is greater than anything we could imagine. Our pride for you grows exponentially every day. Honestly, we could just go on and on like pie, 
But we just want to thank you for the infinitely many ways that you have impacted our school. So finally, take a look around you. You see family members, teachers, administrators, and friends. Know that you are loved by many, and even though you leave this school, we will still be here for you. So keep pushing forward. Never settle for less than your best. Don't be content to be average, because average is just as close to the bottom as it is to the top. Strive to be at the top. Again, we are so proud of you, and Mrs. Service and I are greatly honored that we got to share this time with you. Thanks for asking us to speak today. Enjoy the rest of the day with your family and friends. You will remember these moments for a lifetime. And don't forget what we talked about at baccalaureate on Wednesday. Have faith, keep hope, and it's, or keep love and inspire hope. So one more time, let's get our hands ready for two claps on three for the class of 2021. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you. you. So at this time, I want to recognize this year's co-valedictorians. This year, we are honored to recognize Haley Richardson and Eva Schwartzfigur. This year's salutatorian is Kaylee Brown. In addition to being named salutatorian, Kaylee has also completed her associate's degree at Hutchison Community College. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is an exciting day. The class of 2021 has finally made it, and Haley, Kaylee, and I are set out to give you the best visual of our story. Our story is high school, and if you've ever been with Mrs. Myrise, Ms. Juniman, or Mrs. Service, you know that every story has a plot. A plot contains an exposition, a rising action, the climax, a falling action, and finally, a resolution. Our story contains around 700 pages, but unfortunately, a chunk of our pages were ripped out because of a con conflict in our story, COVID. But our story still continued. We hope you listen closely and learn a little bit more about our time within these walls and the story we've made. But this is no bedtime story, so Mr. Hewitt, please no falling asleep. Our story begins with the exposition, the part where the setting, characters, and plot are introduced. Our exposition was freshman year. We entered high school, our setting, somewhat familiar with the environment as some of us had siblings and friends already on the path to graduation. The characters, which are us, the class of 2021, have always been close, especially when we came together to prank our teachers, which we would end up doing plenty of times during high school. Now, the plot of high school should be obvious. Pass every class, study for the ACT, join clubs, play sports, graduate, and head straight for a university. However, this is not the case. Every single person in our class had the opportunity to create their own plot, and, and I believe that we all created our own unique high school stories that will stick with us for the rest of our lives. Our rising action, where conflict grows and leads to up to the climax. I think we can all agree that we've faced many adversities throughout our high school career. Sophomore year was our last full year of high school without the pandemic. This is the year of getting involved, preparing for the ACT. Maybe start looking for colleges if you're brave enough. Our college list mostly consisted of places out of state, you know, before we knew about out of state tuition. Our junior year, we started this year off strong. We did not hesitate to start fundraising and preparing for prom. We practiced and studied for the ACT, which of course had many technical difficulties. Many of us started to visit colleges and get new jobs. Just as we started to get into the easier part of the year, the virus that shall not be named snuck up on us to take it away. We lost our track season, which is devastating for some. I was not one of those people. 
Our prom that we had spent so many hours on got moved, but we did what we could with what we had. Overall, we held strong, with high hopes that surely this would not affect our senior year. Our senior year was unlike some of our other years. It started off late, but somewhat normal. We had block scheduling, masks, and social distancing, but it was bearable. As cases got higher, if you weren't in an online learner or a quarantine, you had to sit in one classroom for the whole day with masks and maybe your favorite teacher if you were lucky. This lasted a long time, but eventually we were able to return to a somewhat normal schedule and ditch the mask. Our class was grateful for some of our end of year events. These include things like an exciting senior trip, so I've heard, pranks like paper covering the hallways and seniors belly sliding through them, and a scary all-nighter on the football field that involved an hour-long search for three missing teenage girls. It is said that the climax of a story is where the value of the story is tested to its highest degree. And man, have we been tested, from literal tests in math class to a swab up our nose for a COVID test. But we've hit the climax of our story, graduation. We receive a diploma honoring and representing our hard work and dedication throughout your, our years in high school, and give a handshake with our sweaty, nervous hands to finalize it all. It's a topic full of emotion. Some of us are beyond ready to graduate. We've been looking to this day forever, where we can take the, the diploma out and run of, out of here with the heel click out the door. Other of us, others of us, like me, are full of emotion and would love to walk the halls just one more time to get teased by Mr. Basie, share a smile with Mrs. Unruh while, while switching classes, or talk about baby names in English with Mrs. Service. But in the end, graduation is like a landmark, which is a recognizable feature used for navigation. We have established our location here at Fairfield High, a place to always navigate back to, but now it's become the influence for our next landmark, where our next story begins, and all of us will navigate to very soon for our newest and greatest adventure. Our greatest adventure yet begins in our falling action. The falling action of a story is when the excitement begins to subside and the characters are being led to their conclusion. However, in our story, the real excitement is just beginning. Although this next chapter will be scary and a bit intimidating, it will surely be an adventure. Some of us are elated to be independent and in the real world, while others are not yet ready to leave their family and the comfort of their homes. Even though we may not be completely ready to leave home, Mrs. Glasscock has ensured that we have all the information and knowledge that we could ever need to survive the real world, and we thank her for that. Mrs. Glasscock has also made sure that each of us have a plan for our future, from the many future nurses we have, to our soon-to-be teachers, to the variety of one-of-a-kind career choices such as computer engineering and forensic science, our class has created 21 unique plot lines that are sure to become more interesting at each turn of the page. The resolution of a story where loose ends are tied. While there's no way to tell where we will actually end up in the future, we all have plans that lead us in many different directions. Something we are sure of are the lessons that we've learned along the way. We've learned that you are simply not going to please everyone. Despite people telling you that you cannot do something or not approving of you, you have to keep going. Things are probably not gonna turn out the way you expected. We have to learn to work with what we've got instead of getting down about it. And we've gotten this far and we should be proud of ourselves. Hopefully in our next stories, we can find support systems as good as the ones we have here. To conclude our story, we have to review and allow you all to learn a little something about the characters of this story. The characters of this story are the graduating class of 2021, the individuals everyone in this gym are here for, and to hopefully not see trip of the stage to receive their diploma. It might be me in these wild pink heels, no promises. To start off our character list, Caroline. We know you'll continue to succeed in your future with caring for animals, just as you cared for Mr. Schaefer by reminding him to do lunch count every single morning. Patrick, we know you've built up your strength from the push-ups in Mr. Hurt's class to help you with your future in each stroke of the paintbrush while working for the Nisleys. You'll be the next Picasso. Kaylee Combs, we'll miss your competitiveness and ability to intimidate the opponents. We know the Arlington basketball courts will be open to you for one last game of street ball. Katriana, we've appreciated you being the mother of our class. We wouldn't have made it without your snacks and organization skills. We hope they allow tardy passes at K-State. Clayton, from your awkward pterodactyl screaming stage to your laid back carefree vibe, we'll miss your ability to make us laugh at any given time. Hutch doesn't know what's coming. Gary, good luck with your future and starting your own welding business. Your mullet is sure to shine through underneath your welding helmet. Hunt, 
But we know you'll continue to reach for the stars and go far. We just hope that it's nothing too far like the distance you threw with the javelin and stuck Jack in the shoulder with. It was a great throw, huh? Alex, you and Luna are the dynamic duo in this story. Now it's time for you to write your own. Brad, we all know that your parking skills are the best out of this class. As you continue parking places, we hope you never have to worry about people like Dusty and Eva parking outside the lines. <laughs> Daisy, we hope you channel your inner, inner indie blue and step out of this high school and travel the world as you have always dreamed to do. Brooke, we'll miss your I woke up like this hair and you being Kevin Gates' number one fan. The parking lot will be a lot quieter next year. Blake, you're one of the 10 OGs left, representing Fairfield West. We'll miss the lunch table gaming between you and Luis when you could hear Luis's laugh down the hall. Dusty, Starbucks would have gone out of business this semester without your love for iced coffee. We know it'll help, you, help keep you fueled as you save lives in the future. Luis, take on the world with your argumentative personality because just as you said in ag science class one day, you can earn a pretty penny. Harris, we'll miss your out-of-pocket memes and your quirky personality like wearing Halloween shirts in the middle of April. You'll go far, but not if you keep walking on your ankles. <laughs> Faith, we are proud of your dedication and care to people that are in need. Your work as a nursing aide is inspiring and we're excited to see your journey ahead. Kaylee T, one of the three Kayleys in our class to be exact. We're proud of you for graduating in December and we can't wait for your next adventure. And last but certainly not least, Jose. We know you'll take people for rides on their big green tractors. You'll help them go slow and make them go faster. We're all excited to see your future with BTI. We would like to thank our friends, families, and the teachers and staff here at Fairfield USD 310, our community, and the class of 2021. We are grateful and honored to be a part of this class. We did it. Thank, thank you. you. At this time, the high school choir will perform BA Light.
All right, seniors, this is the part of graduation that you have been waiting for. Caroline Marie Algram. Patrick Jean Bankston. Kaylee Elizabeth Brown. Kaylee May Combs. Katriana Marie Davis. Clayton Lawrence Fleming. Garrett Radley Haskins. Hunter Scotland McMillan. Alex Meese. Bradley Michael Pugh. Daisy Lee Rayburn. Brooke Lynn Reniker. Haley Ann Richardson. Blake Stephen Roberts. Dusty Elizabeth Ryan. <laughs> Luis Sanchez. <laughs> Eva Jo Schwarzfeger. <laughs> Harris Robert Siller. Faith Marie Strasberg. <laughs> Kaylee E. Thiessen. <laughs> Jose Angel Zapian. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Fairfield High School Class of 2021.
please join us in the receiving line out along the front sidewalk. Thank you.